One of the features in Logic Pro X Lite Flex Time can allow you to change up any sound to match your recordings. Let's dive in and see how this works. Okay, let's get right into it. So today we're going to talk about um, a feature in here that's slick. I love it. I love using it. You can use this with any audio sample. Any audio sample, you can use this. Even if you took a MIDI and turn it into audio, you can use this. So I'm going to show you. Um, it's called Flex. Flex is a hidden feature. Well, it's not so much hidden, but it is hidden. Um, it's a button on in the, in the arrangement window. If you can see right here where it says under your, your transport bar, your transport controls, under those you'll see a little, looks like an hourglass, turn to the side. This is called the flex button. And when you click on the flex button, which we'll see, it's gonna allow us to do something awesome. So right now I have three audio clips I brought in. These three audio clips I brought in came from Noise, from Noise Player, which I will go in more in depth on how to use this later. So it's, it's mad sounds in here, guys. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, uh, whoever's watching, you you this this plugin is is awesome. You can get mad sounds in here for whatever you're trying to do. But um, let's close that out. We'll talk about that another day. But that's noise. So I have three different samples from noise audio samples I'm working on this beat now if we listen to this beat let's listen to it okay I, I, it's kind of too slow you're probably saying man that tempo is really slow it's at a hundred it's at a hundred right but say for instance I wanted to speed this up but it's an audio it's an audio f um, file in, in Ableton Live, you can they have this thing called warped, so you can actually warp your sound to the tempo, so your in, your audio file can change its tempo from the warp button being enabled. But here in Logic, they have a feature called Flex. It's similar to it, but I think it's better because you have a lot more what you can do with this. So today we're only going to talk about one simple um, flex time feature. There's many of them, but we're only going to talk about one. So we click on the hourglass, and it brings up these menus on the bottom of each track. And if you click on the the the, uh, the arrows, you see you have flex pitch, which you could change the pitch. Then you have all these other flex times. Now the, all these flex times are are um, not easy, not hard to explain, but I'm not going to explain them today. That's another video for another day. So, but today we're going to talk about polyphonic. Polyphonic is the one that allows you to change your tempo of your audio files when you change the tempo in the arrange window from the top. Watch this, guys. This is so cool. So, I have it at 100, and we'll play it again. Now we're gonna take let's take that tempo up. Let's take it up to like 125. No, actually, let's take it to 135. Let's see what we get. Oh, uh oh, oh. Whoa, whoa. Let's take it up a little bit more. Let's go up to fit 155. Just that simple, guys. Ladies and gentlemen, flex, time, polyphonic feature. Ch allows you to change. Now, you can get samples from Splice. You can get them from Noise. You can make your own samples. You can get samples from anywhere and change the tempo of how you want that audio file to play. Just right there, in there, in Logic. Oh, this is so awesome. I hope you guys like what you just saw. If you want to get more tips and if you want to get um, learn about more tricks and logic on how to make your music workflow come across like excellent to a beginner or an advanced user, 
uh, put a comment in the bottom. Put a comment in the bottom of the of this video and ask a question. I mean, I, whatever questions you ask, um, I will do my best to answer that question for you guys in the next video. So feel free to give me whatever hit me whatever with whatever you think you want to learn and and i will hook you up with it there's there's um other people on youtube that's actually doing videos that are teaching some things but i'm i i decided to put out things that no one else is teaching because i see that there are a lot of people who are not teaching certain things because they don't know how to either use it or they don't take the time out to learn it or they just don't think it's going to be valuable information to the uh, the beginner, but I think this is really valuable information to the beginner because it allows the beginner to feel as they're actually um, doing something with their music creation um, Just like the professionals are so you beginners out there. This is this is for you So and also you intermediate and advanced users. This is for you guys, too So I just wanted to give you heads up. So I look forward to the next video, but in until then Peace out and have a blessed day. Yeah.